Welcome to this week's episode of The Final Frontier. Now, as are you sitting comfortably? This is staying in the intro. Um, as requested by all the producer Poppy fans, we are having another episode with the one, the only, producer Poppy. Hit the intro. Hello. I'm back. Back, back, <laughs> back again. Back ever. Maybe. But you think, thought you'd seen the last of me. Yeah, can't get rid of me. No, not at all. I'm try and get my claim to fame somehow. You look gorgeous. Shall I tell you why? Why? This really amazing person did my drag makeup. I, you don't have to qualify it with drag makeup. Oh. This is just stunning okay, gorgeous this makeup. Just makeup that this Soft is just... glam. Poppy, yeah. I want you to explain at length what we're doing because I want to... Um, Eat my vegan Everyone, gyoza. Look over here. Eyes on the prize. Today we're going to be doing another pop quiz, puppy. Oh, I really went. I'm here, I'm here. Pop quiz, puppy. Um, do I sound good, Jess? Wait. <laughs> so how I'm eating with my mouth, talking with my mouth full. Nice. Um, I introduced you, producer Poppy, as a character in this pop- mm. podcast. Are you now creating Jess as a separate character? Jess is a whole separate character. She's baby intern. In the context of like everyone listening and watching, mm. they'll be like slay when we say baby intern. Jessica, baby intern. Jesse, baby. No one puts baby in the corner. Uh, what are we doing today? What's the pop we, quiz with Poppy? Pop quiz with Poppy. We're doing drag race. We're doing a drag race quiz. I think next time I do a quiz, I'm going to do it on a topic that I kind of know. Because I'm asking you questions, I have no idea. What topics do you know about? My obsessions, like, movie and TV-wise. Okay. The Office. The Office. Not for me. Not for you. It's funny, but I wouldn't know anything about it. Okay, let me do something that's more you. Oh, The Hammer's Tale. I'm actually really behind on that. How many questions have we got on this drag race quiz? (laughs) We have so many. So many. We've got six. It's six questions. Good long episode for you today, girls. Lucky you. But you just Lucky get to look you. at us. You could probably Google Drag Race Quiz. I have. I've got a Drag Race Quiz. Okay. Well, not Serafina this week. No Serafina this week. She be slacking. She's on holiday. I just wanted to give her a Where's break. Where's she gone? Somewhere really nice, I'm sure. Good friend. I didn't ask. <laughs> I did ask the other day, but I can't remember. All I know is she didn't want to have a holiday with me. Who would? I'm, I'm looking for someone to go on holiday with me. Is it still Kit Connor? <laughs> Kit? I, he might still be on Broadway, you know. He's in Romeo and Juliet with yeah. Rachel Ziegler. I saw that. Gel. Yeah, Kit. I just, I think you're amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Desperate. No, no, I'm not. Wow. I'm not desperate. It's just, look, I'm actually going to call all Final Frontier fans out here. You were all supposed to set me up and I got no DMs. Oh, that is Am true. Am I not worthy? Poppy's still single, so we've got nothing to go through single. this episode. And if anything, I'm more single than I was before. Single Pringle. Also, my... My relatives sometimes listen to this, so we need to be peachy. Poppy's a slut. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Auntie. She's actually not. She's actually not. Auntie, she's actually not. I'm not. No, she's not. She's just, she's a content creator. I'm a content. She makes quirky reels and Insta TikToks. Yeah, whatever they're called. <laughs> if, you, if you like TikTok content where it's someone dancing and it says something quirky in text over the top, then you'll love Poppy's Instagram you'll and love TikTok. It. It's normally something about men. Yeah. I'm a hardcore feminist through and through. So true. It's, it's usually Poppy like doing this. It's and the text like, will say like, when your friend's making out with a guy and, and you've just got to keep, keep dancing. dancing. <laughs> that is me. That if is you so like you. That content, maybe I'm going to try and venture out and do something else. Do a, do a dance. He, no. Why not? I can't dance. Mama, same. You know, I was meant to be in drag for all of these episodes, but we you just... have not mentioned. Please timings me. have gone awry, right. which is spelled Ori, which confuses me. I don't even know what that means. Are there any words, before we go on, are there any words that you mispronounced because <laughs> you'd only ever seen them written down? Okay, so me and Jess, baby intern, mm-hmm. um, we, we're not... I'm not an astrology girl, mm-hmm. but we decided to talk about astrology and we looked at our... <laughs> our Snapchat astrology. Wow, Gen Z. Gen Z. Um, <laughs> and I, 
Jess was Yang and I was Yin. But I didn't realise it was Yin. I thought it was Ying. With a G. Yeah. Common mistake. Common Ying. mistake. People think it's Ying and Yang. Yeah. So that's something I've learned this week. I had a friend, oh, yeah, a friend at school who um, said to me, you've been misled. And I was like, what? And she was like, you've been misled. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, misled. I was like, can you spell it? And she was like, M-I-S-L-E-D. And I was like, that's misled. <laughs> she thought... There was like a verb to misle, and she was like, I misle, you misle, he, she, it misle. I love that. Yeah. I'm gonna use that. You've been misled. Right, let's take this away. Time for the pop quiz. First question. In season two, Juju B. Correct. Did an infamous lip sync while very drunk against Sahara Davenport. Yep. Yeah. What song did they perform to? Black Velvet in that little boy's smile. Black Velvet. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Give yourself a pat on the back. Woo! Oh. Question <laughs> two. <laughs> on season five Snatch Game, who did Alyssa Edwards do such a bad impression? Katy Perry. Finish the question. Sorry. Yeah, well, do you know how long it's taking me to write these out? Good five minutes. Wow. Told her she needs to tweet out an apology when the episode aired. Katie Why? Perry. Because it was really bad. It was just, it, but in what way? It was just bad or Just offensive. quite a bad. Like, it wasn't offensive. It was just a really bad impression. Oh, okay. Can you do it? Rue asked Alyssa as Katy Perry, Katie, have you ever kissed a girl? And Alyssa went, Rue, never. It's like she literally has a song, like you could have just said, yeah, yeah, and I liked it. Do your research. Did you know Katy Perry started out as a Christian art, a pop artist? Wow, I did not know that. She had like Christian country music. Oh. And then she was like, this is, I think her name was Amy or something. And then it wasn't working out. So then she was like, <laughs> I snogged a woman, then, yeah. I'm quirky. Let's go a whole, like the polar opposite of Christianity. Satan. Yes, the devil. The queerness <laughs> of it all. Okay, question three. Rue hated the season 14 Snatch Game. Who won it only because they weren't the worst? Uh, Deja Sky. Yeah. Um, who did they play? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lil Wayne? No. Who was it? <gasps> Lil John. Oh, Lil John. I couldn't remember which Lil it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There are too many Lils. Yeah. What would you be, Lil what? Lil... Lil girl. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Lil girl. Yeah, Lil... I don't know. What would you be? Well, I have no idea. Yeah, Lil, Lil Pops. Bitch. <laughs> Lil Bitch. I'd be Lil, Lil Vegs because I'm vegan. I'd be a Lil Shark because I like sharks. Oh, Baby Shark. Question four. Complete this iconic Latrice Royale. Yep. Yeah. Was that right? That was correct. Quote from season four. Get those... Nuts away from my face. Are these really easy questions? They're quite easy. Okay. I really like Drag Race, though. Fill in the gap. Doing a roly-poly in front of RuPaul dresses or something is a moment for history. Ice cream cone. Who said that? Me. Roll the tapes. What celebs have they done... The Night of a Thousand. Is that what it's called? Can you name yeah. as many as you can? Oh my gosh. This Night of a Thousand Michelle Visages. Mm. Night of a Thousand uh, RuPaul's. Yeah. Put on that. Night of a Thousand Cher? Madonna. Yeah. Night of a Thousand... I can't really think off the top of my head. Fake fan. You ask for hard questions and they're here, so... No, but like, I've done three, definitely. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure they've done Cher as well. Yeah, probably. I don't know if... Well, if it's not on the list, they probably have Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just had to scroll down. You just didn't, you just didn't do your prepared. job? I um, was Night of a Thousand, Beyonce. Yes. Because Lucy LaDuca did the pregnancy look. I'm sure it was. Night of a Thousand. I, th I can't think of any more. Okay, do you want me to say? Well, I, c I probably could, but I'm, I'm bored of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, J-Lo, Celine Dion. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Dolly Parton, Grace Jones. They absolutely have not done Night of a Thousand Grace Joneses. Who's Grace Jones? Who's Grace Jones? Grace Jones is an iconic model, singer, and actress. 
uh, prolific through the 80s, 90s, and noughties. She is uh, an Amazonian stunning black woman. She was a Bond girl. Let me look up. Oh my God, you'll recognize her. You know what it is? Oh yeah, of course. Just really iconic. <laughs> What's the next question? During the Charisma, Nerve and Talent show, season 14, what does Willow Pill toss into the bathtub during her performance? A toaster. No. Oh, no. It... No, she wanted to throw a toaster in. She threw it like a plate of spaghetti. Spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got confused because she originally wanted to throw in a toaster, but Why? I, it was a fun, a fun <laughs> performance piece. But she threw in a plate of spaghetti and meatballs. Okay, fine. That's my final answer. I watched yeah. it; it was very funny. Set to Enya's Only Time, I believe. During the bag ball challenge in season thirteen, who made it look so bad it made oh extra special guest judge Nicole Byer make this face? La La Rue. Lalari is the answer. Sorry, I'm just doing this. Lalari is the answer. Did I just do that? Lalari is the answer. Lalari is the answer. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Kit Connor speaks French, doesn't he? Uh, if he, you watched Heartstopper, he, you would know. Well, no, the character of Nick speaks French to his dad. But he's pretty good at it. I'd say mid, as someone who studied French at a university level. All right, go on then. Uh, <laughs> con- continue, s'il vous plaît. Yeah. Do you know what my name is in French? Poppy. Coquelicot. What? Oh, you mean what the flower or poppy Yeah, is? but I like being called Coquelicot. Okay. Je m'appelle Coquelicot. Well, your name, no, because your name in other languages is still your name. No, no, no. No, it's me. Poppy. No, no, no. Coquelicot. I want to be different. I'm a quirky girl. Quirky. When they want to call you Poppy, <laughs> but like your name's actually Cockley Car, and like no one will call you Cockley Car. Right, we're making that. As soon as this is <laughs> done, you will have seen this on TikTok by the time this episode airs. <laughs> that exact, t- you're posting that immediately. That is what we're doing before the next guest arrives. Last question, I guess. Like three more. Th- okay, three more. Yeah. Denali, 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 Denali defeated Kamora Hall. Kamora Hall, yeah. In an iconic lip sync. Well, which classic '90s songs? '90s song did they lip sync? One hundred percent pure love. Go back to the middle and around again. Oh, good, yeah. I don't know that song. Okay. In season twelve, what iconic diva was the unauthorized musical about? Madonna, the unauthorized musical, season 12. Yep. Cool. Guys, are you playing along at home? Yeah. Comment below what score you've, you've got. <laughs> if you've got a really good score, comment below. Uh, okay, next question. Let's rattle through. Let's do okay. these ones quick fire. During Brew's work room walkthrough ahead of season 12 Snatch Game, Rue told Gigi Good. Good? Good. good. That he was concerned about her playing Maria the robot. What was Gigi's iconic response? Um, I understand, but I do not share your concern. Well done. I saw you perform at Br- Brighton, by the way. Did you see me in the crowd? Yeah, I did. I pointed yeah, you, at you. Okay, so I thought so, and I was like, oh my god. And then I was like, imagine it wasn't even at me. No, I was gagged because I was like, you said like I'll be right at the front, and I was like, sure. sure. And then and I, I was right at the front. I saw someone like singing along out of the corner of my eye, and I like came closer because I was like, let me give this person a personal moment with me, <laughs> and it was you. <laughs> and it was me. I was like, right. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I ran through Brighton. I was like, you on like three twenty. And I was running through Brighton. I was like, we've got to get there. We've got to get there. And the minute we like walk over, it's like, you got to read my la la lips. And I was like, oh my God, I'm seeing it sound. live. I've never seen it. I was really like, nervous. You were amazing. I was so worried you're going to fall over. It was so slippery. I was so scared for you, sweetie. Could you, could you tell that I was like walking very carefully? No. Okay, work. Not at all. You were like absolutely strutting your stuff. But it was a wet stage that someone should have dried. <laughs> but the thing is, it did start pissing it down when you just come out. Yeah. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt there. Fair. I guess while I was on stage, I couldn't say, don't use the runway. 
Yeah, and you you have to use the runway. Well, I didn't realise that it was raining because I was like backstage yeah. and then it started raining and you couldn't see it because it was so fine. And I literally walked out and went, it's raining! Because I had no idea. But it was worth it. All right, well, we'll do one last question and then we'll wrap this thing. Okay. Uh, Brooklyn Heights and Yvie Oddly. Yvie. Both landed in the bottom after bombing the Snatch Game. Baby, I'm sorry. Not sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the answer. Oh, was the question what song did they lip sync to? Yeah, uh, why don't you try and work out what the rest of the question was? Um, I won't have mind you. But, yeah. <laughs> you just did that. What song did they lip sync to? <laughs> yeah. It was a double save. They both stayed and they ended up being the top two of the season. Yeah. Okay, last question. Um, who won season two of UK versus the world? <laughs> Marina Summers. No, it was me. It was me. I, I was did. there to support. I'm your biggest supporter, I think. I'm your biggest fan. I follow you until you love me. Papa, paparazzi. That was actually really good. We actually kind of... <laughs> we kind of ate. Yeah, we kinda that was did. our duet for the end of the episode. Um, um, Poppy, remind everyone where they can find you on social. Where are they going to see your quirky TikToks? If you want to see my quirky TikToks and if you want to send me some quirky ideas, it's Poppy Pearson underscore and my YouTube channel is poppy.pearson and you might see something on there later. Can we end this episode by literally filming a TikTok? Yeah. Poppy does all the TikToks for the final frontier. Um, <laughs> so this is a real turn of events. I'm now going to do a TikTok for Poppy. Are we doing this live on camera? We're doing it live on camera. Okay. A live filming of a tickety talk. <laughs> Who's more likely to get flat out wasted? Who's more Quite likely to get Who's <laughs> Who is more antisocial? Quite Who has a family? Quite Who's shorter? Quite Who's got the best dreams? Quite This is the end of the podcast episode. Bye. <laughs> Bye.